the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to the service of daily prayer from St. John's Episcopal Church in Edinburgh. Let us worship with words from Psalm 33. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait upon his love, to pluck their lives from death and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him, for in his holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have put our trust in you. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we, who have been raised with him, may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be dominion and praise for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from Acts. Peter said to the multitude, Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A Song to the Lamb Splendour and honour and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and had their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ to the Lamb be worship and praise, dominion and splendour for ever and for evermore. A reading from John Mary Magdalene stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Song of the Redeemed O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord with the ancient Easter hymn, Pascha Nostrum, Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends and neighbours, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the Gospel and all who seek the truth. For John our Bishop and for all bishops and other ministers, for all who serve God in his church, for the special needs and concerns of this congregation. We pray for all those in our congregation who are ill or in need of support. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for the life and ministry of Peter Brand, who gave so many years of service and was a friend to so many of us. We thank you for the gift of life renewed all around us in the celebration of Easter, in the new leaves of spring and the new lands in our fields. We thank you that a positive effect of lockdown is a deeper appreciation of what we mean to each other and the value of time spent in each other's company. We will exalt you, O God our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, and in your compassion. Forgive us our sins, known and unknown things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honour and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God forgives. Be at peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah.